Hi and welcome to the RCN Rocket Chief. Today we'll be uh, flying this model, the uh, Black Brant 3. It's actually homemade, but it's a clone of a very famous uh, model rocket and of a sounding rocket made by Canada, so I should have had one long ago. Uh, we'll be sending it up on a C-65 because it's basically just a spear and uh, it should get some serious height. So please like and subscribe to see more of this and maybe you'll help the old chief get a little bit of ad revenue from YouTube so that I can actually buy this kit as opposed to having to make it in the spare parts. Thanks a lot. We have a launch light. So in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Well, it's certainly weathercocked. And there it goes, and I can't see a thing. It has a long delay on it, so hopefully we'll see something. I see a bit of a glint over this way, but I don't see a thing. That took off and it went away. Nothing. So here we are, <clears throat> again, Black Brant 3 clone on a C-6-7. About 10 kilometer an hour winds, hopefully, this time we have a green light, so hopefully this time we'll get it back on its three, about a three foot long uh, streamer. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. Nice flight, a little bit of spinning. We'll see the deployment. There she comes down now. Long delay. There's the streamer. You can see it. Hopefully you can see it. And it's going to come down outside the confines of the field, but in an, a recoverable area, I do believe. Nice flight. Actually came down right in the baseball field. Nice flight. So here's how I found our Black Brent with that uh, nose comb buried in quite deeply and a few neat shots from our cube cam mounted pretty much directly under the rocket to give us a pretty spectacular view of the liftoff. And then uh, how we put it together with a uh, the BNC plastic nose cone kit that Estes sells, you will always get a Black Brant style nose cone with the nozzle, so that's pretty spiffy and a good thing I had too. Um, rolled our own uh, body tubes with 11 inch paper, we had to make two and then a coupler to put it all together. And uh, the usual, some fins out of cardboard. Uh, found a better way to make the coupler later, but um, by trimming it off better. And also used um, the end of a spent D engine because I was going to use uh, 18 millimeter and 24 millimeter engines in this rocket. So I wanted the ability to use both by using our little conversion tool. And I'll leave a link down on the doobly-doo and maybe here on the screen if I figure out how to make our little uh, conversion kit from uh, 18 to 24 millimeter motors. But uh, put that all together here. And uh, like I said, trimming off the uh, coupler would have made it a little neater, but it worked fine for both of the kits that we built. So not really the end of the world. Um, and as I said, you end up with more or less a spear with... Uh, here I'm putting in the uh, block for the D tile, the 24 millimeter style motor um, with our uh, nozzle mounted on the end of that. And then we can put the 18 millimeter motor in that mount so we can launch it on the C, which we've done, or we could do it with a D, which we'll do at some point in the future and the hero shot. Um, and I had to do some Play-Doh in the nose cone to get proper balance uh, for the rocket so it would fly straight. Thanks a lot.